Hello, uh, we're back with a little bit more chemical equilibrium. Uh, this time I thought it would be a good idea to do a, a little bit more complicated ice table problem that integrates uh, KEQ, so an equilibrium constant expression. So in, uh, in this case, I have the reaction of iodine bromide turning iodine bromide gas turning into iodine and bromine gas. So this is a gas right here. And, and so what I know about this is that the, the equilibrium, the, the partial pressure equilibrium constant equals 8.5 times 10 to the negative third. I have a temperature of 150 degrees, which remains constant. And I have a volume of one liter that remains constant. And so I have initial partial pressure of IBR of 0.017. So the question is, uh, what are the partial pressures at equilibrium? Our partial pressure of, let's just do partial pressure of um, IBR to start off with. You could easily solve for the rest of them once you found IBR. So, <clears throat> so to do this, you have, to, you have to both use the KP or the... Um, partial pressure constant equilibrium, equilibrium constant, in, and an ice table. Uh, so it gets a little bit more complicated, but we're going to start uh, with the ice table because what we're given here is initial concentration, so we, we're going to use the ice table to figure out um, how to mathematically substitute uh, what is going to equal the partial pressure at equilibrium and then substitute that into the uh, equilibrium constant expression. Okay, so, uh, so here we go. So let's go ahead and set up our ice table to begin with. So here's our ice table. And um, we find out that our initial concentration of, let's put uh, IBR here. Uh, we've got iodine gas and bromine gas right there. So our initial concentration here is going to be 0 0.017. We learned that right here. The little circle down here, of course, tells you initial concentration always. Uh, and so these are going to be 0. In our change, if we look at the balanced equation, there's uh, 2 moles of iodine bromide to 1 mole of each of these. So what's going to happen with the change is this 0 0.017 is going to lose um, x by a factor of 2. So we're going to go minus 2x here for the change. Um, and this one, of course, is going to be plus x. And this one is also going to be plus x. Okay, so, um, so then down here at uh, equilibrium, uh, in, this, in this spot, we find out that, um, that this, of course, is what, what that equals. And, and this is sort of the thing I, I, I needed and I was going to get at in order to, to, to go down and, and solve the rest of this. So now we have to look at uh, what does the KP tell us, the partial pressure constant expression. So the, we, we know that that is going to equal uh, the pressure of uh, the products. And so the partial pressure of the products, uh, so we have iodine and... Um, we have the partial pressure of bromine, and uh, that's going to be over the partial pressure of iodine bromide, and that one is going to be the pressure squared. And so, so this is our, our, our partial pressure constant expression. Okay, so um, what we learn from this, if we insert our numbers that we have so far, here's what we have. We have 8.5 times 10 to the negative third is our KP, and that is going to equal, that is going to equal uh, X squared on the top, because this is, this over here is X, and this over here is X, uh, divided by, um, divided by what we know is the partial pressure of this at this point is 0 0.017 minus 2x, and, and that's going to be squared. All right, so, um, so then we're just going to go about and solve this uh, algebraically at this point to, to get our 
value of x. And so once we get our value of x, um, that's just going to tell us, uh, you know, basically the partial pressure of one of these. Uh, so we're going to have to multiply that times 2 and subtract it from 0 0.017 to find our partial pressure at equilibrium. But I'm sort of getting ahead of myself. So let's go ahead and solve this. I'm going um, to take the square root of both sides here. And so if I do that, I should get this. I'll get, uh, I'm going to sort of round off here, 0 0.9 uh, to, let's go 0.9122 uh, equals, and this is going to be x divided by 0 0.017 minus 2x. Okay, and so now in this case, I'm dividing by this, so I'm going to multiply both sides by that. So um, if I multiply 0 0.0922 times 0 0.017, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get, uh, let's see, I'll round that off, 0 0.015. Six seven. No, I didn't really round that off too much, but um, I kind of keep it running in my calculator. But just to show you where I'm at, I'll do that, and uh, that's going to be minus. And I'm going to multiply this number times two now, so I have point one eight four three nine, and then x. So I'm multiplying uh, this times uh, times minus two. So. Um, anyhow, and then that's going to equal x on the other side. Uh, so, um, so here we have our, our x left on the other side. So uh, now, now it's pretty simple. Now I'm just going to um, add this to the other side. So essentially, if I, uh, you know, if I, if I add this over to this side, I'm going to be dividing this by um, uh, 1.1834 x or 1.439, and uh, that's going to, to give me my value for x. And uh, x is going to equal, sorry, I have to put a new page here. So x is going to equal, at this point, uh, x equals 0 0.00132. Um, so uh, back looking at, my, looking at my ice table, if I go back there, Looking at my ice table, I find out that, uh, and I'm looking for the partial pressure of iodine bromide, and we find out that that's going to be 2x. Uh, here's the, here's the, it's, uh, it's going to be a 2x because the, the balance equation calls it 2 right there, and the other ones are just x. So um, I found out what x equals, but for iodine bromide, I'm going to need 2x. So what's that going to equal? Uh, so just multiplying that times 2. I'm going to get uh, 0 0.00264. And uh, so then to find out my, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really close now to find out my, my partial pressure at equilibrium. I've taken my initial. So my initial pressure was 0 0.017. Um, so that was my initial pressure. And then minus uh, my 2x, 0 0.00264. And that is going to give me 0 0.014 ATM. And so these are both in ATMs as well. And there you go. So there's the partial pressure of, um, in this case, this is for iodine bromide at equilibrium for that particular scenario. Now, um, if you wanted to figure out the partial pressure of um, of uh, those other ones, um, it's uh, it's go it's going to be here. So um, we find out that uh, that x equals that. So that's going to be the partial pressure of uh, of each of those those other ones, uh, the iodine gas and the the bromine gas, because they're just just one x and they had no initial concentration to start off with. So um, you could label those as well. You could say that um, iodine gas 0 0.00132 as well as bromine gas. Okay, so that should give you an idea of how to do, take an ice table and an equilibrium constant expression for partial pressure, and this would also work for concentration. You could do concentration in the same way as I did partial pressures here, and you could uh, integrate those two things and solve 
for something. So it's a little bit more complicated ice table, but hopefully that helps you out. And I know that I found on some of the homework assignments that there's a, several of them that ask you to do stuff like this.